I want it, you know it, my DM you opened, you seen it, you read it, you could have said no, bitch, you noticed that whole shit you wanted, this whole shit is pointless, when all my approaches keep going unnoticed, and you keep on scrolling past all my emojis, bitch, you about to blow it up. Alrighty guys, so I will be having a giveaway on my channel for this month. If you guys are interested in winning a Xbox gift card, a PlayStation gift card, or a Steam gift card, all you have to do to enter is drop a like on the video, comment something down below, and also stay subscribed to the channel. I will be picking a winner through the comment section, so make sure to stay active. Good luck guys, and enjoy the video. How's it going YouTube? My name is Richard Radeway. Welcome back to the channel today. What I got for you guys, of course, another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. In today's video, it's going to be episode 2 of DLC Weapons of Black Ops 3. In the last one, it was like the first episode, I wanted to introduce a new series to my channel. And I wasn't sure how you guys would actually take it. And you guys literally smashed that video with over 1,000 likes, so many comments. Like, you guys seriously, seriously love the idea of this series. How we can all brainstorm as a community to come up with possible DLC weapons and I read through the comments I saw a bunch of people's you know uh, kind of suggestions of what I can do in the next episode and you guys seriously seriously helped me out with the second episode so if you can if you can for this episode or in this video comment what you guys want to see in the next one whether that's you know a DLC melee weapon whether that's a weapon from a past Call of Duty game let me know I've been reading a bunch of the comments and you guys have some awesome ideas so let me know what you guys want to see in the next episode of DLC weapons of Black Ops 3 and of course this is episode 2 once again I picked out five weapons for this video and you guys will see if you comment in the last one and you guys see a weapon that you know is shown today let me know i tried reading through the comment section i tried getting some ideas so it's really awesome so anyway if you enjoyed this episode make sure to drop a like guys just just smash that like button show some support because all the likes and all the ratings and the positive feedback is very much appreciated also if you guys are brand new to the channel click that subscribe button we're on our way to 80,000 subscribers the road to 100k which is awesome it, it sounds so awesome to say 100k man so if you're new subscribe it, it really really helps the channel out out. And if you're interested in free COD points, COD points just came out today for Infinite Warfare. So if you want to get your hands on some free COD points, check the first link down below to free my apps. You just have to download a few apps. Then you can delete them, redeem your points, and it's really awesome. And if you guys are interested in Control Freaks, if you guys are purchasing any Control Freaks, you can use the discount code RAID for a discount. Helps you improve your aim, makes you a better player, all that good stuff. Links down below. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. So once again, of course, there's going to be five weapons shown in this video. I actually have four weapons and then one melee weapon. Now, the melee weapon is actually really cool, and I'll get to that in just a bit here but the first weapon we have on our list today is the commando mark 2 now of course as you guys know the commando is a weapon from black ops 1 i believe it was like one of like the last assault rifles you unlocked in the game and oh my god don't even get me started black ops 1 was my first call of duty man and the commando is literally a god weapon i love this thing it was such a powerful you know assault rifle in the game probably one of the most famous one like they had the galil and then they had the commando those two were like the best uh, assault rifles in the game and then they had like the ak-47 i think too in that game so a bigger one had a lot of awesome um assault rifles but the commando really really spoke to me i remember when i grinded for uh you know they had the the call of duty the the, the money system the points or whatever in that game where you would have to spend money to unlock the gold camo I remember when I got enough money to buy the gold camo on the commando. Literally, I thought that was the most like amazing thing, the gold commando. Uh, so I saw a lot of comments in the comment section on my last video saying, you should do the commando. The commando should be coming back. And a lot of people agreed. So I wanted to showcase this in today's video. So shout out to the people who said the commando, man, because I, I think we great minds think alike. I definitely thought of the commando as well. And I wanted to showcase the commando in this one. So that's why that commando is on my list. And of course, I added like the Mark II to it just because it could be like the second version. I like adding the Mark II because I don't want it to be the same exact weapon from like Black Ops 1, but kind of like a revamped kind of newer updated version of the weapon. And like I said, the commando, it's such a powerful assault rifle. Everyone can really agree on that. Everyone loves uh, loves the commando. If you guys play Black Ops 1, definitely has a special place in your heart for being one of the most powerful assault rifles in the game. So that's why it is on my list, and that's why I really had to throw that one on there. Now, coming in at the next one here, we have the AN-94. Now, this was a assault rifle from Black Ops 2. Once again, I saw a bunch of people commenting, do the AN-94. The AN-94 should be a DLC weapon in Black Ops 3, and I totally agree with everyone. So, shout out to the people who said the AN-94. I definitely agree. Uh, but just a little bit of backstory, this was a weapon. It was sort of like the uh, like the, the AK-47 of Black Ops 2. I believe it was the last assault rifle you had to unlock in Black Ops 2, and 
and god this thing is so freaking powerful i remember using this thing going on a bunch of streaks i got this thing you know gold and then of course i got diamond assault rifles for uh you know all the weapons in black ops 2 so this thing was so amazing man i you can never i feel like if you use this thing you can never do like really bad in a game you can always do so well while using the an94 and dude if this thing came back man in black ops 3 i think a lot of people would go crazy for it the an94 is a very very popular assault rifle in black ops 2 definitely one of the more like powerful ones and probably like a probably with the best one honestly and i saw a bunch of people in the comment section of last video saying you know the a94 should be a dlc weapon a bunch of people agreed so i had to throw that one on my list it's it's kind of like a similar version of like the ak-47 but i think a lot of people really like this weapon like it was good for competitive it was good for multiplayer games like, it, it was in zombies too like this thing was everywhere and i think a lot of people really did like and enjoy the an94 so that's why the an94 is on my list definitely has a special spot on this list because it was one of the best weapons from black ops 2 and black ops 2 man i had such good times in that in that game i know a bunch of people a bunch of people really enjoyed black ops 2 hopefully they do bring a back uh, black ops 2 for backwards compatibility on the xbox one i think that i think a lot of people would be excited for that but once again black ops 2 definitely definitely an awesome call of duty game and uh yeah i think that uh it should be a dlc weapon in black ops 3 so let me know what you guys think but shout out to the people who said an94 in my last video all right guys so it is time it is time for the melee weapon of this episode so i try to have like at least one melee weapon an episode you guys can comment your melee weapon ideas but this one was a kind of like an idea that i saw um it was it's kind of like from myself in a sense like i, I, I just thought you know what this would be a, a crazy a crazy melee weapon in the game and i think a ton of people would go crazy for it so as you can see on the screen right now we have lucille this thing if you if you watch the walking dead this should look really really familiar with you guys so if you watch the walking dead of course uh if you guys are caught up with season uh what are we in season seven negan is the main enemy kind of of the season and of the show currently and he has a baseball bat wrapped around in barbed wire and he names it lucille that's literally what he calls his bat lucille he killed like two of the main characters no spoilers i'm not gonna say any names but anyway he killed two two of the main characters with this bat wrapped in barbed wire i thought a baseball bat with barbed wire and then that lucille is the name i think that'd be a crazy crazy dlc weapon man like literally would if, would you guys be excited if you saw lucille as a melee weapon in black ops 3 like i i don't know why but i'm a huge fan of the walking dead and i i think a bunch of you guys should be a fan of the walking dead let me know in the comment section if you guys watch the show but lucille imagine lucille as a melee weapon in black ops 3 you're opening up supply drops you get lucille you're walking around in multiplayer with a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire, literally like Negan just bashing people heads, like bashing their heads. I, I thought that was an awesome idea. And with the card that I made too, like it goes perfectly, man. So let me know what you guys think about Lucille coming into the game as a melee weapon in Black Ops 3. Like they should do things like that, man. Like take things from TV shows like The Walking Dead, such an awesome and popular TV show. And Lucille is definitely like an iconic like weapon in the Walking Dead series at the moment. So like I, I would definitely like to see this thing as a DLC weapon in Black Ops 3. Just going around with Lucille, a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire. Like even if you don't like watch Walking Dead, I think that yeah, I think you guys can seriously agree that this would be a pretty cool, you know, melee weapon in the game. And since there's like crazy melee weapons in the game, anything is possible at this point. So that's why I have Lucille on my list for a melee weapon in black ops 3 so the next one on my list guys and it's actually a pistol in the game uh, from cod 4 and we have the desert eagle or the deagle the golden deagle whatever you want to call it this is what it would i feel like it would look like in the game like a golden kind of wrapped around it like the golden deagle from cod 4 i know a bunch of people are really really enjoying modern warfare mastered and a couple people on my last video on my last episode uh episode one commented that the deagle and the desert eagle should return as a melee weapon and i totally agree man this right here is is an iconic iconic pistol in call of duty history like everyone knows the desert eagle if you played like any call of duty man like any call of duty you should know what the desert eagle is and basically it's one of the most popular pistols in call of duty history i think it definitely should be a weapon that returns into call of duty black ops 3 as uh, as a dlc weapon like would you guys want a, a desert eagle in the game i like i said i saw a couple people actually comment that in my last video but like now that i'm thinking about it I think it'd be really awesome because the pistols we have in the game right now are the Rifty 9 and the Marshall 16. I think those are the only two DLC pistols in Black Ops 3 at the moment, so we can definitely use another one. And I think a classic weapon like the, the Desert Eagle would go really, really well in Black Ops 3. Like, once again, it's such a popular, you know, uh, pistol in Call of Duty history that it would go so well. And I think, like, a lot of people would be hyped to see it. Like, imagine you're opening up supply drops and you see 
the desert eagle wrapped in like a goldish kind of camo like i would go me, me myself i would go crazy about it because modern warfare mastered is really really good at the moment people are going crazy with the desert eagle and it like i said it, everyone knows the desert eagle in the game so i think a lot of people would actually buy supply drops containing the desert eagle so let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below the deagle the desert eagle in black ops 3 as a pistol dlc weapon in black ops 3 you guys can let me know but i thought i would have that on my list for today and the last one on my list for this episode episode 2 we have the scar h or the fn scar so i saw a lot of people actually comment this in my last video but the scar man the scar has been in so many call of duties i think it's been in modern warfare 2 it's been in black ops 2 it's been in uh modern warfare 3 so like the scar everyone knows the scar i feel like everyone knows the scar assault rifle it's one of the most powerful assault rifles in the game in like every single call of duty game it's like that assault rifle that once you unlock it and once you use it you can really do some damage with it and that's why i said you know what this should definitely be a an assault rifle dlc weapon in black ops 3 a bunch of you guys commented that on my last episode so shout out to you guys who commented that like i've been like i said i've been reading the comments so a lot of you guys actually suggested this and i said you know what this would be an awesome thing on this list today like a, an fn scar like a scar h or a scar l something like that like th this gun has a bunch of names but like anyway nonetheless it's still a scar definitely one of the more popular assault rifles in call of duty history like i said but anyway guys that is the video hope you guys enjoyed episode 2 of dlc weapons of black ops 3 if you guys enjoyed a like rating would be very much appreciated just slap that like button if you guys like this series also comment in the comment section what you guys want to see in the next episode like i said i've been reading a bunch of the comments you guys are seriously helping me out with this series so thank you guys so much but a subscribe if you guys are brand new like i said we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers we're close to 80k so make sure to subscribe thank you so much for watching follow me on all my social media down below twitter twitch instagram snapchat all is just right away and i'll see you guys on another one